when they were in power, outlawed the bicycle, completely against any progress, right, whatsoever, or quote unquote progress. But the point is, you know, the Americans are so dead set on making everybody follow their way, but here they raise them up to almost a godlike status in America, really. The intellectuals, movie stars, all these people. And then next one. And here we have the great uh, scholarly tradition of the Jewish people. Here's a rabbi reading his Torah, probably, or Talmud, and he's under an olive tree, and it's in the Holy Land, you know, beautiful scene. Uh, I don't know where the hat came from. It doesn't look very uh, Middle Eastern to me, but uh, there he is anyway. Next one. And here we have the Muslim. <laughs> It's very interesting, you know? I mean, if you look at that right there, what is that? I mean, who piled that up there? You know, it's, it, it's not even a, you know, it's not even a wall or the beginning of a wall. I mean, that's, they put us in the middle of a garden, and then here this poor man, he's wondering what's going on. And he, you know, it's unbelievable. So you look at the psychological impact of that. You see somebody reading those back and seeing all those religions, the men of God. And then here, our man in the rubble heap, right? I mean, they could have had him in Al Azhar, in the oldest university in the world. They could have put that on there. There's a lot of things they could have done, right? They took him out to a garbage dump and said, we want to get a picture of you here in the midst of rubble. You know, and you know, he's probably, I don't know, he, he probably wasn't aware because, you know, they're not aware of the sophistication of, 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 of their propaganda techniques. You know, he just said, let's get several pictures, took him to different places, but that's the one they picked. And that's my point. This is what they do, right? Ne uh, next one. Now that, that's the man they don't show. That's my teacher called the hatch. Next one. Now, Master Mason, this is the founding father of America. You can see the one eye on his robe there. Over there is the G. And this is in the archive, National Archives. He was a Master Mason, 33rd degree. You can see the G there, which some people uh, misleadingly think stands for G uh, God. It doesn't. It stands for geometry. And, the, and what, what they believe, the rationalists, was that if we measure everything, we will gain mastery over nature because God's mastery is determined by the fact that he knows the measurement of everything. That's why they call God the great architect. So they say if we can measure, and this is why modern Western man set out, and you can read the book, uh, The Measure of Reality, uh, a recent book, which is about this topic of the measuring in the West. Next one. And then this is, the, uh, this is the great seal of the United States. It has two sides. This is one side. You can see, first of all, the, the Star of David up there, which is composed of 13 stars, but it makes up the Star of David. And then uh, you can see the eagle shielded, always protected. Right? That, that's, those are the, you know, the vital points. See, because everything else is feathers. But the vital point protected. So this idea of America protecting their vital interests, protecting their vital points. And then you can see here is the, uh, the symbol of peace, which is the olive branch, symbolizing peace in uh, the hand or the, the talon of this bird. And the bird is looking towards uh, the direction of the peace, which means that anyone that looks with us will give them peace. But if you look against us, then we give you war. And this is why they have to... This really, this is not... I'm not making this up. You, this is not why they said all this stuff. Go ahead, next one. And then, most intriguing uh, thing, the Prophet Sallallahu said that every prophet has warned their people against the Dajjal. But I will tell you something about the Dajjal that nobody has told their own. He has one eye. And this is very interesting because one of the words for Dajjal means eye and eyebrow over it. In Arabic, Dajjal means one eye with an eyebrow. And this, if you look at the pyramid here, the pyramid is three-dimensional. It's represented as three-dimensional. But the eye is represented as two-dimensional. 
which is the nature of, of uh, monoptic vision. If you only can see out of one eye, you don't have depth, depth perception, right? The ophthalmologist will tell you that. If you don't have two eyes, you lose depth perception. And so this is what, uh, the one eye has no depth perception. But this, they believe, is the eye of God. That's what they call it, the eye of God, the all-seeing eye of God. They made God one eye, right? And you can see the eye is suspended above the pyramid because the, 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 the Dajjal cannot come until the pyramid, the social structure is complete. The system is put in place for his coming. And the system is secularism. You, you have to eliminate religion from the realm of governance, from the realm of social behavior. And on the bottom you have, in uh, Roman numerals, you have uh, 1776. Now the Americans use the age of reason is 21, which is the uh, sum of 1776. And they actually believe that 1776 is a symbolic, because they really believe over here it says he's pleased with our uh, program, with what we're doing. He's pleased with us. They believe that the age of reason had arrived, that the human beings in the founding of America as a secular state, eliminating religion from uh, politics, was a sign that man was coming to the age of reason. So they actually believe in their, uh, you know, this is all in their books, if you read where this stuff comes from. And then, Novus Ordo Seclorum, bad Latin, but it basically means a new worldly order. <laughs> Secularum in Latin means the world, a order of the world, a new world order. It also means a secular order. Secular means world, secular. Next one. Now, this is a very interesting uh, because when I first saw this, I immediately said, Sadaqa Rasulullah, because the Prophet Sallallahu said, Yushiku an tada'a alaykum min umam, kama tada'a al-akaratu ila qasa'atiha. It's coming a time when the nations will eat you like they come to a plate of food. It's a hadith, sahih. Yushiku an tada'a alaykum min umam, kama tada'a al-akaratu ila qasa'atiha. Amin qillatan yawma idhin ya Rasulullah, balantum kathirun. No, you're many. Is it from that we're few in number? No, you're many. Here's the third pearl, which is the majority of uh, the population of the world. Much of it is Muslim, what they call the third pearl. And here's a non-Muslim woman, Maria Villarden, who's seeing it in that image. And our Prophet said this 1,400 years ago. Here's a woman now in America seeing that the way America and her allies get the general agreement on, on terrorist and trade, that's all the G7 and all these, seeing it like eating the... Uh... Now, another example of that... <coughs> Can you just turn that off for a second? This was done uh, in 1896 by an English. And here's the Ottoman Empire. And again, he's showing the nation coming on it like people come to a feast. Again, clear, they're seeing what our Prophet foretold 1400 years ago. They see it with their own eyes and, and there's Muslims that really are unaware of this stuff. So the next slide. How do you next slide. Oh, there you go. Christmas cheer from Saudi Arabia. <laughs> 